Right then, welcome back. Uh, today we are at Road Atlanta. Uh, we are doing race five of five in our little soiree on our 2020 MT10 race bike. Uh, five laps MotoGP circuit. Bike set up, not gonna touch it. I'm quite happy where that has landed. Um, it just works. Tires, mm. This track, again, it's a track that doesn't really put a massive amount of stress through the front. Um, it's more of a rear bias track. There's a lot more pressure through the tyres and acceleration zone. So I'll stay medium, medium, you know, boo, boring, but we'll do medium, medium, and if we need to change it, we'll change it for the time attack. Electronics wise, we are anti wheelie two, engine braking one, no tra oh that was an awful start. No traction, no clutch control. Always dodgy, always dodgy through there. And then it gets dodgy up here as well when everybody gets on the brakes. There we go, look at the absolute carnage. And somehow, we've ended up with a penalty, but we've not fell off, which is always a bonus. Oh, you've got to be careful of the curbs. Curbs are very, very slippy. They'll just have you off straight away. It's empty. This is going to get dodgy. How have we got that stopped? How did we get that stopped? Straight on down the hill. And we are 3.8 seconds away from the leader after one lap. They are on a mission. sequence with the corners we made a load of time through the 65,000 left and right chicane at the top of the hill but we ended up wide running down the hill we're out of sequence the bumps yeah whatever the leader's on is a missile is just leaving us big style. Oh, the front, we pushed the front in there so much. MT10 versus R1, MT10 wins. Right, make a bit more time through the chicane. He's back to 3.2. Oh, yes. Look how much time we've taken out of there. It's such a pain in the arse kind of circuit, but when you get it right, it's awesome. That's why, that's why I don't get on the grass, thank you, Jesus. T 
two laps left. We've got to make sure we're within striking distance in that chicane on the last lap. Oh, don't get on the curves, that is dangerous. And again. So if we do the same again this time, we should get it down to about a second. ZZR, it looks like a ZZR with the exhausts. No wonder we're getting slaughtered in a straight line. Keep an eye on that gap. So call it 9.8 or 5.8 tenths. How much are we losing down here then? Half a second. A little bit more. Oh, she's getting a bit rowdy. Right, we're going to have to force this, aren't we? We're going to have to force it past. Because we're going to be right on and through this flip-flop. But then the back end of the lap, do you know what? I'm just going to go straight past now. Oh my god, that was obscene. That was basically just full send. We're going to have a workout now, though. What have we got? Well, nine tenths. Christ. We've pulled loads of time out of them. Ridiculous amount. Are oh, we going to stay in the lead? Have we got a big enough lead? Because they're going to get a bit of draft as well. Oh, they're definitely coming. Settle down the front end, yes, come on, one corner, done. Well, another first timer. We're on a bit of a roll with these at the minute. Um, I'm not going to lie, that wasn't the easiest race in the world, however, <laughs> it was entertaining. Right, so we did a 123.785. Uh, that would have put us... 785, that would have us 15. So... Super Nick, Super Nick, Super Nick, Super Nick, Aprilia, Super Nick, Super Nick, KTM, Aprilia. Uh, MT10, 124, well we've already beat that. So, right. Can we get it? What have been taken out of tracks about two seconds haven't we so that takes us into the 21s oh, i think that is a big shout getting a 21 they've obviously nailed the chicane at the top of the hill and taken the piss out of everybody so uh, it's one of them isn't it we'll just see how we get on right then tires hmm i'm gonna go hard soft who <laughs> were um i'm gonna go hard because i want to go as late as possible on the brakes down the bottom of the hill on the back straight um, so I want loads of support in there and that should give us enough temp um, to keep around the rest of the lap and I'm going to go soft on the back because I want as much drive as possible. Um, 21's 1.7 seconds, Whoa, that, is, that is a massive undertaking. So much difference, I thought that was going to be a foul lap. Oh, 
Well, it took a bit of time, but not much. will tell us. Yes, it was good. Oh, I'm getting nervous. I've got to nail this breaking point. I've lost a little bit. Oh my god, we're hot in there, but we've got it back, come on. That's the best we've took that final corner as well. Ah, oh, 22-0. You know what? I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it. So we did... I can't remember. I can't remember. What did we do? We did a 122.083. I was so annoyed when the 121.9 flashed its head up. Um, I'll take that all day long. I, there's probably a little bit more time in it, but I'm not. I'm not dragging it out of there. I'd have to do a thousand laps. And then it's just, you've got to get the top bit of the lap absolutely bang on. And that that's where all your time is. I mean, the super naked's faster down the straight. It push, punches harder out the corners. So yeah, but we'll leave it there uh, and we'll have a look at the setup. Right, setup wise then, um, that's the setup we used. Uh, two and eight slightly modified. Everything's a two and eight slightly modified, but um, yeah, not much. We had to dial out the wheelie problem. Um, so we did that by mucking about with the spring hardness. We did chase it around the houses a little bit. We dropped the preload and increased the spring and it made it worse. Um, but that's basically where we ended up. Electronics, um, anti-wheelie two, engine braking one, no traction. Um, I did put traction on at Snetterton just briefly to see if it made any difference and I guess it did but it stopped any rear steer so get on the gas and try to turn the bike with the, the back end over like speed in a little bit and it, it just stopped that so again it wasn't great uh, tyres wise it'll, it'll use pretty much anything depending on the track I mean at Road America we ran a medium front medium rear and it was okay I probably wouldn't use a soft unless it was a really weird track that just had massive long straights and nothing else um, but yeah rear tyre it'll use well use anything that'll put heat into it which it can put heat into pretty much any tyre um, but front probably just the hard or medium um, pros and cons pros it's properly quick um, we did what second at Snetterton uh, fourth into Lagos um, we were what in the teens I didn't write down the times for Magni Cores and Road America and that um, and we've got ninth at Road Atlanta so it's quick it is quick um, the brakes is really good on the brakes if you get it set up properly um, and it likes to scratch it absolutely loves being thrashed thrown over curbs late on the brakes sliding it about getting on the gas wheeling and mucking about and it, it just likes to be hammered um, the downside is that it's got wheel issues, so cons, wheel issues, big bad wheel issues. Most of the thousands of Yamaha stuff has got problems with wheelies, we just have to try and tune it out. Um, it's hard on rear tyres as well, so if you put a soft or medium on the back, it might not overheat it, but it will wear it out really quickly. Um, it will, I mean, we did it at Road Atlanta, we run a, sorry, Road America, we ran a soft and it was down to something like 20 odd percent with two laps left so yeah it is hard on rear tyres and it's not a street fighter 
the Street Fighter dominates the naked race modified 1000 cc's. Um, I'm amazed that there's not an MV Augusta Serie RO race bike, um, which might give the Ducati a bit of competition. But yeah, it has to be a con because the Ducati is so goddamn fast that nobody gives the MT a second look. I quite like it. Um, I think it's got a bit more character than the Ducati. The Ducati is just so fast that you end up hanging on to it rather than like pushing it around. And that's your lot then. We'll call that quits. That's that done. Um, what we're going to do next? I don't know. Um, did I write any bike? I did not write any bikes down. No, I don't have a clue. Um, I'll find something. We'll go back into the um, stock league and we'll have a look at something like that. We've got a Millennium Cup event next. So I will probably have a look at something like that. So that's a 2000 to 2010 sports bike. I'll find something that we've not used um, and we'll give that a blast. Uh, but that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking, subscribing, all of the usual jazz. Uh, and fingers crossed uh, you'll join me next time. Take care. Stay safe. Peace.